All right, so here's how deploy script works and here's how you should use it. So from here, you wanna make sure first you have plugins turned on, you go to settings, go to beta features, make sure you have plugins checked on, make sure you install it in the plugin store. Now the plugin, um, it could be you know on the first page, second page, fifth page, 14th page or 20th page. It's completely random, so you just gotta go to find it. From here, you wanna make sure your prompts are exactly what you want. So I wanted to create a gradient generator. I wanted to add four color selectors and make uh, to make the gradient from. I want it to look trendy and modern like Instagram, something that would be perfect for sharing on social media. And I want it to be mobile friendly. So you let it do its thing. And if you have any issues here, if you reach out to support, make sure to copy this app ID right here, copy and paste it and send it to us in the support ticket so we can help you figure out exactly what happened. Now, from here, you simply click on the link once it's generated, and there you go. All right, we can confirm it's working, we can change the colors, and there you go, it's that simple. Now, there are a few issues you need to be aware of. So, as you know, ChatGPT does have a token limit. Well, they also have a token limit on how many tokens the plugin can use. So, if the plugin runs out of tokens, occasionally it will just keep looping and trying to make adjustments and keep trying to deploy the same thing, but it won't work because it hit a limit. So it just keeps restarting. If that happens to you, you have to make sure you create a new chat or change your request. You can try experimenting with the adding this at the end of your prompt. Try to use as least code as possible. That might work. It might not work. Unfortunately, at this time, there's no solution for it because OpenAI limits the plugins. So until they raise that limit, you're just going to be stuck with what you can figure out within that token limit. Now, the key to using deploy script is pretty simple. It is a conversational coder, first of its kind. You just need to have a conversation with it like you would with a developer to make whatever you want. So in this case, let's say I want to change something. So let's look at this for inspiration. Why don't we add a fifth color selector? Now add a fifth color selector. All right, so there we go. We're gonna let it do let it do its thing and just wait. And for fun, you can check right here to see exactly what it's writing, the code it's writing, how it's writing, and all that fun stuff. You can see what kind of file it's updating. In this case, just HTML. <clears throat> you can see the file name, all that. So if we just let this run, it might take a minute or two, but once it's done, we'll open up the link and I'll show you what I mean. Because the key to a conversational coder is just have a conversation like you would with a developer. Now, it's also important to make a distinction. So on our free version of deploy script, you have a number of requests that you're limited to. At this time, it's 15. We might bump that up to 20 or might bump it down. We're still figuring that out, but you do have a limit. So once you hit that limit, so if you write, you know, if it does this 15 times, that means you hit your limit. Now, if you upgrade to the pro version, you have unlimited requests, unlimited projects, unlimited deployments. You're only limited by how much you want to use it. So I highly recommend upgrading to the pro that helps creators like us. It's very useful and we invest that in put it back into the app so we can create new features. We already have several new features that are in development right now that we can't wait to share with you. I won't announce them here, but you'll like them. It'll allow you guys to do a lot more from this software. So let's give it time to load. Let's see what else it's writing. Okay, so now it's writing JavaScript or you wrote HTML before. And so right now this deploy script has HTML, CSS, and JavaScript for this application that we're making. So let's just give it some time. It might take a minute. Like I said, I've had stuff take up to five minutes to create and it created like five or, you know, I think one time like eight of these windows. So it really depends on your ask. And it's also important. So the more precise you are with your prompt, the more like it it's going to be. So instead, let's say I wanted it to look like Tinder, where I can swipe back and forth selecting colors, I'd have to ask that. And I'd also have to say, make sure it's animated too, because just because it looks like Instagram 
doesn't mean it's animated like Instagram. So you need to add that into your prompt, make sure it's animated like XYZ. If you have a popular example to pull from, I highly recommend you do that as well. All right, so here we have it updated. So now we have five color selectors, perfect. So let's just verify it works, there we go. All right, it works and we have the hex code up here and then you can download as PNG right there. So yeah, that's how DeployScript works. It's a very, very powerful software. Like I said, there's just a few things you gotta watch out for, the token limit and how you write your prompt. Make sure it's a good prompt and then you're set.